come on. Let's get you out of there. Uh, you got this. Uh, good, good. Everyone, I want you to meet Forky. Yeah, let oh, Bob look have. At that. Look how long his arms are. Again, excited to talk with you. And, oh, and so going nice. into the film, mm -hmm. I know how funny you are on several of the things you've done in your past. And I'm thinking to myself, how's he going to bring a spork to life and yeah, make yeah. it funny? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Job well done. Oh, that's nice. But, Thanks. But I'm curious, when you got that call, or how did the process go when you're like, wait a second, I'm, I'm going to be playing a spork? There had to be some questions that you had, oh, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel, I feel very much like Forky that way because I had a lot of questions. I'm overwhelmed as much as he's overwhelmed. <laughs> um, but it's, I remember when they brought me to Pixar, which was just overwhelming in general, mm -hmm. and they sh showed me <laughs> a picture of Forky, and I was kind of like, not what I imagined, but I, then they kind of filled me in with a story, and just his simplistic way of looking at life He's also simply made. Mm -hmm. um, I just loved that whole vibe. Like, he doesn't understand any of the rules of the universe. You know, he doesn't understand why people drop to the ground when humans walk in. He doesn't get that. He's mm -hmm. like, why are you guys dropping to the ground? He doesn't, when somebody says bow peep, he doesn't know what a bow is. You know, it's all this mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Everything was new, and I loved that component. Well, as a comedian, you've definitely made people laugh in, in other shows we've seen. Even it comes from a lot of pain. What are the challenges, though, being able to, to do voiceover work versus making people laugh where you can also use physical elements? That's a great elements. question. I mean, is it challenging? It is challenging. That's actually a really great question because I've fortunately been able to do a lot of animation, but when I started, you're very, uh, when you do comedy, you're very used to the physicality. You're used to being able to raise an eyebrow to help a joke. Mm -hmm. um, you're used to able to do a lot of nonverbal. And when you just have a microphone that's just your voice and you've got to communicate that same thing, you, all of a sudden you kind of feel naked without all that stuff. And that's where you just kind of learn, that's where you have a lot of faith in the director and what they're hearing on the other side of the booth. Mm -hmm. um, but I, you get a little, um, I will say, doing it, you realize that it's not like you're not acting. So I do the same physicality to help what goes into the microphone, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. it totally makes sense. And one of the things, I mean, I've, I've laughed, I, of course, veep and being able to see even Emmy acceptance speeches, you get oh. people laughing on those. Oh, that's nice. And then even RuPaul's Drag Race, I, I watched you there. <laughs> that was such a blast. Yeah. I well, loved that. Well, how how important is it for you, though, as an actor, to be able to identify in so many different areas, especially as a comedian, because you don't see that a lot of times. Yeah. Um, I, here's the deal. I was, I've been doing this for over 20 years, and I'm so grateful to just have a gig. Like, mm -hmm. I still, to this day, and I and I, I mean it when I say, I, I genuinely think someone's going to pull me out of this and be like, this was a mistake. <laughs> You're not supposed to be here, because you're. It's everything is so crazy that I'm even a have a job and doing this job, which is nuts. So any gig I have, I'm just always just so thankful for it. And you're a good old Florida boy. Yes, I was raised in Tallahassee, Florida. Been to Tampa. I've been here. We came here for grad night. Did you ever do grad night? Uh, I'm not from here originally. I've heard stories about yes. grad nights. Though. Grad night. We would come. To, I don't think they do it anymore. We'd go to Disney <laughs> and like stay all night. And I love Florida. I love the humidity. I love the malls. And it. now you're part of Toy Story Land. And now I'm part of, part of Toy Story Land, which is crazy. Oh. I see little kids walking around in forky costumes. That's amazing. Well, congrats on thanks, the success. Thanks. Love the film. So nice meeting wish we you. Could, wish we could chat more. I, dr oh. I dread this. I dread this. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> 